It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you coffee land? How you coffee land? How you coffee land now? Yeah. Hey, it's another early morning for me, and welcome back to another episode of How You Coffee Land. It's been some time since I've done one. But another early morning, as you can tell, the shadows, I don't have a lot of lighting here in my office, but it doesn't mean I don't want to have an enjoyable cup of coffee. And today I'll be trying out Kicking Horse Coffee's Grizzly Claw. Now, in the 10th episode of How You Call Feeling, I tried out Kicking Horse's Kick-Ass. You can check out that review. And yeah, Kicking Horse, based out of uh, Canada, specifically in British Columbia, Invermere, never been. But it's in British Columbia, apparently. And, uh, yeah, so they have a wide variety of different blends that may be available in your grocery store. Tried out Kick-Ass in a previous episode, now trying out Grizzly Claw. As you know, if you've seen on my channel, I got a burr mill, so... A burr mill allows you to pour an entire bag into it of beans, and that's what happened here, and why I ended up tearing this bag, then forgetting, um... I'm actually going to review this coffee and hold up the bag. So I've held it up. It adds effect, though, like a grizzly has actually gone at this bag. And Kicking Horse has a lot of different... Uh, the namings of coffee is always amusing to me. They seem to follow a trend of ass and uh, camping uh, or outdoorsy type things. So yeah, kick ass, smart ass, grizzly claw. And so, yeah, if you really want to get out there and enjoy your coffee, you get kicking horse. Kick that horse. I must say, Grizzly Claw, a little bit, you know, if you're out camping, enjoying this coffee, and then a grizzly bear approaches you, I mean, please stop drinking the coffee. You have bigger things to handle at that point. Uh, we've all seen Werner Herzog's Grizzly Man. Very interesting movie, but you might likely end up dying. Anyway, that's always interesting with coffee naming. Just this decision for really aggressive names that make you uh, really infer that you'll die soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and try out Kicking Horse's Grizzly Claw. And interestingly enough, I have my Yellowstone National Park uh, with a bear on the mug. A perfect symbolism this morning. So, I must say, I'm coming back, if you can't hear, off having a cold. So, those taste buds, those notes I might be smelling, not as effective as usual out of me, but... Still, I will say, much like the Kick-Ass, uh, the Grizzly Claw, a good, uh, solid dark roast from Kicking Horse, they describe it as rich, dark chocolate decadent. And it does feel that way. Um, you know, I can't spend so many episodes, uh, years actually, uh, that I can't exactly remember Kick-Ass. I do recall a fine cup of coffee, enjoyed it. And I feel Grizzly Claw is on the same front. And so if you go to your grocery store, Kicking Horse finds itself on the uh, higher end, I suppose, of grocery store available coffees, uh, or if you go to their website, a bag like this costs $11.99. But in the grander scheme of things of what you do see of this kind of upper tier that might be available at grocery stores, I honestly find Kicking Horse to be good, uh, economical, and many times I think you will find in your grocery store it may be on sale at a maybe smaller price point, like $10 per the bag. And when you compare it to Stumptown, some of these other higher-end brands you now find available in the grocery store, I actually would prefer Kicking Horse. As uh, we've seen with uh, coffees that I review, fair trade organic, it follows all of those uh, uh, elements that are important to us with our coffee. Uh, so go ahead, check out Kicking Horse. Uh, so to answer the question, how am I coffee on them? Mmm. A real grizzly. Not a grizzly from Vancouver, but a grizzly from Memphis. Because, you know, when an ownership group decides to just move a team to another city, just keep the name, even if it's 
a city that's equated with barbecue and Elvis. How you call feeling now? Yeah.